guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video, at least in my opinion. And if you're wondering what this big old box is, it's actually majority, not the majority, probably like 65% of my sticker collection. I'm going to be doing part one of my sticker collection. I have two of these black bins. I also do still have a sticker binder, and the sticker binder itself will be part two, so stay tuned for that probably within the next week or so. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to go through these bins because I've seen a lot of people starting to do this method, and actually it's been working really well for me, especially filming Plan With Me's. So I'm just going to jump right into this one, and then we'll go to the next one, and then I'll goodbye all right so overall let me see if I can do this this is what the bin itself looks like it was about seven dollars from Target I do not know the exact exact size all I know is that is a, it is about 12 inches wide let me I'm gonna measure it for you guys um so yeah it's about 11 and a half inches wide maybe 11 exactly and then it is about 12 inches back. That does not make sense, does it? So, about 11 and a quarter inches, and then, yeah, by 12. So, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. It didn't seem right to me, so it seems a lot longer, but whatever. So, about 11 by 12, which is actually a great size to keep some of these accordion files from the container store. I've seen a lot of people using these for a long, long time, and I've had a couple for a while, but I just recently took the plunge and cut off all of the toppers for them. Excuse my band-aid finger. My cat actually clawed my pinky while I was sleeping last night, and it woke up bleeding, so that was fun. But... I cut off the tops of these and they actually work great because they stand up perfectly in the bin and if you're curious this bin fits almost perfectly into a Rascog cart like each of the different layers. It fits in all three. I keep mine on the top normally. I also keep one on my desk just for easy access but they fit perfectly so it couldn't even be a better like system. It works out so great for the majority of things that people in the planner community have. So right now there are three of these accordion files in here and if you think about it they hold so much stuff especially this one in the center from here to here all of those stickers fit in one it actually is about to to burst I have to say I mean it's they're very sturdy so it's gonna hold up for a while but I have a lot of pretty odd paper co stickers in here and then a lot of little miss papery definitely two of my favorite shops and I have about equal amounts of stickers from them so those are the two big pockets there but I definitely keep a lot in here for the amount of room it is I guess if that's what I want to say so in the front this first little gray one is actually sorted by month and I do keep little samplers that I get in these front pockets because they fit perfectly but I don't want to like hold it like this I feel like it's a really awkward way to stare at the stickers but it just starts in January right here I have two yearly bucket lists from oh hello stationery co just because they do fit the yearly theme but they don't really fit a certain month so i just kind of stuck them in the front and the front pockets of each of these are kind of a catch-all for me so i don't really have a certain thing i keep there it's just kind of whatever i want to stick there but basically this just goes by monthly colors also i do keep kits that are themed to a specific holiday in that month in here for the most part. I do have also uh, seasonal sections which keep like fall, seasonal, just general kits, winter, seasonal, and I keep a lot of my Christmas kits in the winter section but I do keep some in December. So this may not make sense to everyone but it's actually a really good system for me in the way my brain works and like I said it houses quite a bit of stickers and they're fairly easy to find i mean every once in a while i'm like digging but for the majority of the time i can easily find what i need and i'm good to go so back to this before i get off on another tangent so i got january some little miss papery kits i have some sponsored by coffee new year's kits since it's a holiday in january then I have February, so a lot of Valentine's Day stuff, a lot of just monthly colored items go in here as well. Like I have some samplers from Oh Hello that go in here. The next one's March, and it goes all the way through to December. So these are all right here. It's the first little section, and it's fairly full for what it's worth. 
Also, I like to use this section if I have a specific kit that I want to use during a certain month. I will stick it in here knowing that I'll see it before I see it in its store section, if that makes sense. I do keep a lot of these sorted by their function as well as the store. Some of my favorite stores have their own section. Some stores don't have their own section. It's just kind of the way my brain works. So next I have a section in the front called to rack. So it's stickers that I don't want to keep. Like for instance, I have these baby stickers in here that I'm trying to find someone who has a baby girl to give those to. Then I have a sampler section. So I have a bunch of samplers from different shops that I can just pull from if I'm looking for a certain kind of sticker. And I love samplers, so I have quite a few in there. My next section is circle icons. And I hope you guys can read the little tabs as I'm folding them down. If not, I'll read them aloud. So I got some circle icons in there. I have some of these simple stories ones from Michaels that I got. I have some that I made that are way too big and I sized them down later, but I keep the big ones in here. I have a lot of these quarter sheets from uh, Paper to Kiss before they split up and became their own two shops. I have some more that I made like these, which are actually on matte paper. I just did them to try out and I keep them in there in case I ever want to use matte paper. The next one I have is hexagon icons. I like to use hexagons in my inkwell press planner. So I have a couple in here, not too many because I haven't gotten the chance to really stock up that section, if that makes sense. The next tab is checklists. So I have a lot of heart checklists in here. Mostly this is just the ones that come on like flags, if you guys can see that, because I used to keep my full box heart checklist in here, but then the tab became too big. So they have their own section now. Next, I have full and half boxes, which is like just the plain ones that you write in. I do have a few decorative full boxes, but I try to keep those with their kits or in their shops so I can look for them. So this is just kind of whatever doesn't have a spot to fit in. The next section is Pretty on Paper Co. And I put Pot Co. on the tab for short because I like to call her shop that. So, yep. And this is all the stickers I have from her. I wish, I probably should do a collection video because I have quite a bit. I've loved her shop since day one. I was one of the first people to order from her. I love Chrissy to death. Can't speak highly enough of her. The next section is Little Miss Papery. Again, I love Brittany to death. Her shop is opening again this week. This probably will go up after her shop is open. So I'll have a coupon code for both Pretty on Paper Co. and Little Miss Papery in the comments down below. And I usually keep those on every video because in almost every video, I use a sticker from them. And I'm gonna go hit my TV off because Mockingjay just started itself back over. Hold on. So yeah, I'm back. I actually took a break from watching the new Hunger Games video. Comcast is selling it two weeks earlier. So I'm watching it on there because I wanted to watch it. <laughs> and I watched it already once today while I was doing some housework and then now I'm starting it over, but it just ended and then replayed. So it was talking and it was just weird. But long story short, I talked about Little Miss Papery. Like I said, coupons down below. Next section is money and I keep bill due stickers, some payday stickers that I made myself in there. There's little boxes, stuff like that goes in here. The next section is have a parade, which is a smaller shop, but I love this girl to death as well. Her name is Lindsay and I have quite a few in there from her. The next section is Oh Hello, and I have a good bit back here, not as much as some other shops because a lot of these stickers are actually in my sticker binder, which will be another video, but I'm out of breath. Uh, they do have some in here, some of the newer ones that I've gotten from her. And the last tab in here is Travel, and I'm very surprised I don't have more stickers in here. I don't know why. I feel like I probably just use them up and then don't get to keep them, but I have a few sheets in there that are just hanging out that I probably need to get some more car stickers. So that is the blue one there. So we're all done with two of three. This last one is more functional organized stickers. The first section has nothing in it except for this random little sheet from Sugar Paper Bear. I have a coupon for her down below as well. A lot of shops that I don't work from a lot are super nice people and also make coupon codes for you guys because I have so many stickers from them. It's kind of funny, but she's one of those people and she's super sweet as well. The next section is TV and movie. So I have a bunch of movie night stickers. Like I have these from My Little Chickadee Co, which are really cool. I have these from the Alex Studio, who is now a different name, Little Dog Paper Co, I think. I haven't ordered from her in a while. And then I have some from Creative Keo that I tried out when she had a good sale. Um, the next one is activities. And this is a really random category. It's kind of a catch-all because it has so many random things and it. it has date night stickers it has some planning stickers it has some really cute lazy day stickers from little miss papery in here just a lot of different things 
I have some random like dog walking stickers, which really should go in a different category, like my animal category, but they're in here. So that's where they're at right now. Um, then I have some computer stickers from Paper Kiss that I love to use for working. More date night stickers. My next section is mail stickers. So I got mailboxes, happy mail stickers, all that sort of stuff. Because I live in an apartment, so I need to kind of keep an eye on when I get packages in so I can know if they were delivered to my mailbox or if they went to the front office, different things like that. It's just good for me to keep an eye on it. Next, I have some health stickers, and this is just like workout stickers. These really cute I'm Worth It stickers from Barbershop, Stuck on Planning Co. Then I have some vitamin stickers, different things like that. Next is food stickers. I have lots of different foods, coffee cups, donuts, these really cute little meal checking stickers from Let's Plan It, stuff like that, and then a random sheet of mail stickers, which shouldn't go in there, but I'll fix that later. Next, I have a decorative tab, and this is one of the tabs that I did without really thinking, because it has a couple different things, but there's somewhere, all these stickers could go in a better place, so that's part of my problem with this right now. I really need to sit down and reorganize it now after using it for such a while because I feel like it'd be a lot more effective that way, but I'm just kind of showing it to you guys as is, so it will get better, I promise. The next sections are actually my seasonal sections like I talked about earlier. So I have a winter one with a lot of Christmas stickers in here. I have a spring one with a lot of like floral and there's some strawberry patterns, just lighter pastels. I have a summer one with like nothing in it. I have like these random stuff that I got in a rack one time. So I definitely need to load up on some summer stickers. I don't think I bought a lot last summer. I don't really know why, I just didn't. So I need to get some more for this year. And then I have a ton of fall stickers, like Halloween and like apple picking and sorts of things. So those are really cute. And then the last two are event stickers. So just random like write-in tabs. I have some birthday stickers, uh, more empty tabs. These really cute circles from Pretty on Paper Co trying to think and then the last one is themed which is another catch-all that I need to go through and that's my phone ringing this is the video of interruptions I swear you guys like it's actually insane right now but I'm gonna keep going so I was at themed and that is the last one and like I was saying it just needs to be reorganized because there's a lot of things that could go in a better place so that is it for this first bucket it fits a lot in it for what it's done I mean I don't know how else to say that but there's a kind of an overview and I sit it in my cart with this in the front so I can see all the tabs and it's really easy to flip through and this is the second one so this one is a little bit different I do have four of these accordion files but there these three are rather empty because I just stuck them in there in the back I have one of these photo cases I actually normally keep two in here this one is like Christmas stickers which is kind of sad how many Christmas stickers I have and I don't really know why I keep it in there all the time I could keep it in my desk but it's just been back there for now and then I also have this little box of stickers that I made for myself a lot of times when I make myself stickers they or I like these ones right there are actually a cut printable that I got off of a Facebook group. But whenever I make these, I have a specific purpose in mind when I make them. So I stick them in here so they're easy to find, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, so that's what that is. So these fit right in there. And I got those for like a dollar each at Michael's. And I love them to death because they keep your stickers safe. This back here, flip it over, is actually where I keep my single sheets of Chrissy and Design stickers. So I have quite a few in there. I do have a full size binder from her as well, but it does not fit in here. So that just goes there in the back. Now, as far as the accordion files, I have four in here. I don't know if I mentioned that these are like six bucks at the container store and I have a container store within like a 30 minute drive from me so I can easily get these. I know a lot of places don't have these near them. So I've seen um, different accordion files from Walmart. They're like a cardboard -y material, like a craft paper material, but I think they work just the same. And I think someone else on YouTube has a video of it. So I will try to find it if I can. I might've forgotten who it was. But this one up here has some Libby & Co stickers that I cut down to fit in my sticker binder before I did this system. So they're just hanging out in here and they have a little bit of glue on the back, but it doesn't really matter with the Libby & Co stickers because they're that vinyl material, so it's totally fine. The first one in here is work related, which has like some computer stickers, some work trackers from Pink Popsicle Studio, 
I have this really cute sheet from Little Miss Papery that I wish I could use because it has a work schedule, but my work schedule is pretty much the same, so I don't really need something this size to track it. And I think these are for the horizontal. I don't really know. Maybe I'll play with those one day and put them in a video so I can use them. Next, I have my house home section, which has some cleaning stickers and some general houses that I like to use for tracking house-related things or home-related things. The next one's Papered Kiss, which is a section that I'm going to be working on right now. There's like one, two things in it from her mystery box, but I definitely have some more stuff that should be there. Um, next, I have a header section, which I'm just now starting to use more headers, so I have some in here, but I keep most of them with their kit if I get any, so it's kind of confusing having a section for it. I feel like this video is just going to make me seem crazy because a lot of these don't make sense to anybody but me. But next, I have bottom washi and washi strips, which is just general like colors. Like again, I keep kits together, so it's just leftovers in there. The next section is school because I'm still in college, so I have stickers for like homework and stuff like that. Next, I have animal stickers like paw prints because I have a dog and a cat, so I have lots of those. Next, I have a scallop section, which is a lot of stickers from um, It's Planning Time because she has a lot of scallops and just different shops. This is a printable that I printed out, but I made these. So just different things that are scalloped. The next section is Glam Planner because my collection from her has grown a lot recently. I also have some print cut, some cut printables in here that, from her that I keep in that section. I feel like my voice is going up from talking so much. The next section is shopping and it's got these random little carts with hearts in it. I think these from my planning time as well. I might be wrong, but they're in here. The next section is actually it's planning time. So I have some stuff I need to go through and put in here because I did order a couple kits from her recently. So they are right here. And the last section, which has completely incorrect items in it, is the almost empty section, which is going to be something new for me. I'm going to put sheets that I'm almost out of in this almost empty section. And I really want to do a plan with me using those stickers at some point when I have a little bit that match built up. So those will be there for now. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Keep powering through. The next section in the front is empty because I don't have anything there. Then, But the next tab is SPC, Scribble Prints Go. She's one of the first shops I ordered from forever ago. And back when she used really different thicker paper that I really did not like. But I do have a lot from her recently. I got some of her mystery kits in here. Some winter stickers, Halloween stickers. I have an old March kit from last year in there somewhere. Um, next section is Little Things, and these are mostly from Oh Hello Stationery Co. because I like hers a lot. But there are some Scribble Plants and some Pink Popsicle Studio. I just like their style of them, and I like to use them to track things along the bottom um, of the planner. And the next section is Horizontal. I have some stuff that I cut specifically for the Horizontal Planners, and I have these generic Sponsored by Coffee Horizontal Kits that are different colors of the Horizontal Planner. All right, if you guys are bored now, leave me a comment and let me know. I'm really sorry this is so long. The next section is Whimsical Plans, which is a new shop that I tried out a few months ago, and I have some kits in here. I like her style a lot, but there's a bit in there. I got some uh, oops kits, so a lot of those are in there. The next section is Banners and Flags, which is pretty self-explanatory, just banners and flags. I used to keep weekend banners in here, but I've since made them their own tab. Scoot down a little bit. Um, the next section is Inkwell, and again, since I just got my Inkwell in January, I don't have too many because when I get them, I end up using them very quickly. Also, I am not loving my Inkwell so much anymore, so we'll see how that goes. The next section is mini, so I have like mini icons I printed to use in my personal size planner. This is a printable from Sarah Plus Art. I like her shop. It's got some really cute printables, and they're easy to make print lines on, print marks, print lines, I don't know, cut lines. Um, there's some more mini icons, and then I have some Little Miss Papery and Paperly Boutique uh, personal size kits in here that I like to keep because they are mini sized. The next section is quote stickers, and a lot of these I print myself from quotes I find online, or there's some from like Planning Made Easy. There's these really cute ones that I saw on someone's shop, and I ordered them. I think it's YouTube more the name of the shop, but I might be wrong. There's some adulting stickers from a Eclectically Emily. I can never say that right. Um, these came in the Atlanta swag bag from the holiday meetup. Just a lot of different quotes. Some really cute Gilmore Girls quotes. Oh, these are coffee. I have the Gilmore ones too in here. These are from Pretty on Paper Co. Next section is teardrops. And a lot of these I print myself because they're super easy to do. 
The next section is Let's Plan It. She's a Canadian shop. If I have any more Canadian viewers, I recommend her as well. It's Pretty on Paper Co. Two of my favorite Canadian ladies. Those are there. Next one are, is Weekend Banners, and they're to be sorted in here, so they're coming. Uh, then the miscellaneous stuff that pretty much just needs to find a home soon. So that is that one. This last one is empty, so we only have one more to go through. So it starts out with a four video section, which is like stickers that I want to do a video on soon. So there's some in there, and I'll leave that for a surprise. The next one is FB Checklist, which stands for Full Box Checklist. And it's a lot of Scribble Prints Co. There's some Pink Popsicle Studio boxes in here, some Piper Pants Sticker Co. ones in here, just a lot of Full Box Ombre Checklist. The next one, next few ones are supposed to be homemade stickers, like stuff I made myself that I'm giving a specific section to. For instance, this first one is homemade littles, and this is all the littles. Well, there I made more, but these are ones in there right now. So I have like April color, February color littles that I like to use. Oh, there are more in here. I just printed out some more colors to use. Like these are some really pretty Easter colors, so I'll be using those soon. I really like making my own. That way, if I mess up on one, I have an extra and I don't have to stress about it. And I also use those in almost every week. So it made sense for me to try to learn to make my own. Um, sidebar stickers. I used to make printable sidebars for myself. I want to get back into it because I feel like I tracked a lot of things better, if I'm saying that right. Um, cross off things and have like a list of weekly stuff. So I might start doing that again soon. So I made a section for it. The next one is homemade washi, which is pretty much all bottom washi, but that's super easy to make as well. So I have some in here to use. Like for instance, that really pretty floral pattern. The next one is homemade sets. And I really feel like I'm boring you guys to death, but this is again, stuff that I made myself. I got like a Harry Potter kit that I did a video on forever ago. And the remnants are just sitting in here to be used at some point. So I have those. The next one is cut printables and that is empty right now as well, but it's going to be used. The next one is monthly subscriptions. So when they come in, I'll stick them here until I sort them or until I use them. Then I have a, this section is not labeled, but it's going to be like my the movie theme sticker section. Like I have some Monsters University stickers for my upcoming Pixar week. I have some Toy Story stickers that are super cute. I have some Finding Nemo ones. And then these came in an oops kit. They're Harry Potter stickers that I cannot wait to use. So then these are all empty. And the last set, last section, woo, we survived this long video is store-bought. And these are all little like stuff I bought at Michael's or Joann's that pretty much fit the need of a planner. So these are all sitting in there and they do need to be sorted to be better organized, but for now they are there. So that is it guys. You have survived my massively long sticker organization video. And sadly, this is not it. This is part one and there will be a part two view of my sticker binder updated, an updated view of my sticker binder part two. I don't know how to say that, but it'll be in the title of the next video. So whenever it's up, I will link it over here somewhere. But thank you guys so much for watching and surviving this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.